let's get our third API to add a new data in the database. Let's start the implementation from the repository again. And here we have to create one more method. Let's copy this method, paste it over here, add book. Let's remove this entire code from here, this parameter also. And this time because we are going to add a new book, so we will have the object of the book. And for that I have to use this book model. Now if I want to add a new book in this database, then I have to use the context. And in this context or db context, I have to work with this books table. And this books table only understand the type book. It does not understand this book model. So we have to convert the data from this book model to the book. Let's do that. So here I am writing title. We can get this data from this book model dot title. Then I am writing description. And there is no need to set the ID column because the ID column is the primary key and that will be generated automatically for us. Once you are done with these changes, we have to tell our DB context class that we are going to add a new record in this books table. Let's do that. We can use the same context, press dot, then use the books, then dot add. And in this add method, we can pass this object. Now at this point, this application will not hit the database. To hit the database, we have to save all the changes. And for that, we can use context dot save changes async method like this and because this is an async method so we have to use the await keyword over here once you will save the changes in the database then the id of this new record will be generated and it will get assigned to this book object automatically so here we can return book dot id let's update this return type also so instead of having this book model we can write integer Now let's add this method in the interface. Let's create a new Excel method over here in this books controller to add a new data. So let's copy this Excel method, paste it over here and let's update the name of this Excel method. So we have to write add new book and here in the parameter we will expect some data in the body of the request so we can write from body we can write the model name that is book model here let's update this repository method name add book async and let's pass book model and this time we are adding a new record so we have to use the post request okay if you are using this ok method then we will get 200 status but because we are adding a new resource so we want 201 and for that we have to use another method we have to use created at action method or you can use some other methods that we have discussed already in the previous section here as a first parameter we have to pass the name of the get action method and that is let's use the name of and the get action method name is get book by id paste it over here then in the second parameter we have to pass the route values and remember in the route for this request we have two variables first is this id and second is the name of the controller so we have to pass both of them this method is going to return the id of the new book so here i can write id and here let's pass the data so id is equals to id controller is equals to books and in the third parameter we have to pass what value we are going to return on the output if you want to return only the id then i can simply write id over here or if you want to return the entire object then you can assign the id in this book model and you can return the entire object that's it now let's run this application in debug mode this time we have to use the post request so here i'm using the post and this is the url books 
and because we are adding a new data so we have to set some values in the body section just click on this body use the row and choose json from here here you have to type some data let's see here i'm passing title is equals to testing one and description is this is for description now let's hit the send button Here you can see the status code of the record is 201 and we are having the id of this new record 11. Let's verify the value in the database. So here you can see that we have four records id is 1, 2, 3 and 11. The 11 is because I have deleted few records from this table that is why we are having this 11. Let's add one more record in the database. Using the postman let's send one more request to hit the send button and we are getting the id that is 12. Let's use one more, 3, the id is 13. Now let's verify the get API also. Use the get, hit the send button. And this time you can see that in this output we are having few objects. This is the first, then we have second, third, fourth, fifth and the last six. So you can see all the API are working fine. We are adding a new resource. We are getting all of them and even if you are passing the id of any book that is let's say it is 13 we are getting the details of one single book so as of now the three apis are working fine